o k f m one zero one point seven. Brother, what's up? Can you book me my channel, pay? Ah, I'm going to call me my job, so. Yeah, because I had to check. Yeah, easy, yeah, easy, yeah, yeah. Hi, yeah, see you, Kwa. Hi, hi, hi. Now, what? I'm going to see you, which you would die on to my name. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey, do you want to be a man? I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. Very very necessary. Abra body, oh ma, you need to go into a bad nation and take take. I mean, do a serious assessment and and a lot of changes to your life, and you can come back. It's part of life. Mami van komomra, na nwa diet sa wakase. Say say economy na enko yin obi anya sa Russia Ukraine war ni ada wa unu bibi ah yo fa kwa me me da se me tia wati fo ya wa fi di to di ana gana ka sa ana gana ah thank for the opportunity too i think that uh i make that statement i i may try an article about it oh say Russia and Ukraine war, a bar, you know, a bar in profit. So most countries, you know, they get to destabilize because at that particular time, you know, once uh, Ukraine, they are one of the largest uh, exporter of grains. The, maybe at that time, a lot of business people across African countries and even Europe, maybe at that time they have made another uh, or more to get materials from either Russia or Ukraine. So the Kwane buy, you know, in fact, it destabilizes a lot of businessmen, investors, and even countries. But moving forward, you know, you cannot still be relying on the argument that Russia and Ukraine won't be, your economy is suffering. Oh yes, sir, you are not being honest to yourself because even when, if you are importing materials from Ukraine, to the time the war started, who make the argument to Ghanaian people or even to your people say, the cause of Russia and Ukraine war, maybe that is why we are having a high inflation. That is why maybe we are having this kind of depreciation and all that. It can make sense maybe within the first three to six months. But you cannot be keeping on making that argument all your life. And it's something that I was just trying to caution communicators. Say, even when you go on radio or TV and you are communicating, the moment you mention Russia and Ukraine or COVID-19, to justify why the reason why the economy is struggling now. With time, you know, it may be the amount for us because we are having, say you have Syria and Lebanon, they be to call an army war. Israel, Palestine, they be are fighting, and there are other countries which they don't have relative stability over there. Then they are working up for two There have been several coup d'etat, and you and I know very well that working up for is one of the countries that because so many are putting they get most of their things through our ports. And our traders also go to their country to get tomatoes, onions, and others. See, I was just trying to make analysis there. Listen, Russia and Ukraine, they are bordered by other seven countries. Romania, any Russia and Ukraine, Ebosia, Slovakia, and Ebosia, Belarus, and Omoboshia, Moldova, any omoboshie, hungry, any omoboshie. So how come say countries here omone Russia and Ukraine, eboshie, they are closer. It's like say Ghana, ne Togo, Benin, Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire, eboshie. That is how Romania, Slovakia, Hungary, Moldova, and others, any Russia and Ukraine eboshie. So how come the economy are doing very well? And to see a how more economy, 
to the sense that Moldova acquire a call for IMF package. But as time goes on, these countries have taken pragmatic steps. I'm a Mukonomi, no, a take ship. Do I want to Africa? A Mukeno. And I've been saying, when you throw bomb at Ukraine, it hit our pocket. They know it's not enough justification for me. It's not a strong justification. Because the Ghana need to do air contour. Russia and Ukraine. Look at the geographical distance. Oh, but it's some. And you know how to do it. I cry. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm a man for our life and your practice. Oh, you're a businessman. Ukraine no more from Ukraine or Russia. When you send to question, maybe from the beginning, or a question I said, maybe I'm be a more. Do you want to tell me, sir, you still will trade with Russia and Ukraine? Say, maybe I'll take a question. Maybe. So, but you should defend trade partners. Mm -hmm. Even you at individual level. And at the, even at the individual level, there are a lot of businessmen. Uh, Oko abosu kaine so me magazine or more more kotobe tono. Most of them okay. they no longer go to Russia, you create to even import the material they were importing from there. Even at the micro level, even at the individual level. So how much more at the micro level at the national level? You still want to use the Russian Ukraine as a basis of your inability to manage inflation, as a basis of your inability. To manage civil depreciation. As a basis of your inability to address the concerns of pension pensioners. Another factor is that air and make Ghanaians happy. What is your bra problem? I meet you. So I think that if the Russia Ukraine war could be 19, we know that. They're having some effects on our economy. It, it was justifiable then. But moving forward, who to me and find Kansem Sato when? So when? He said, Dr. Ninja, yeah, that means our economy will not do well. Maybe are ex repercussions. Yes. Maybe if you study uh, econometrics, uh, BBC, uh, it takes time and turn a free system when you use certain models. I see, you know, let's even use COVID-19 for instance. When COVID-19 came, I had to hear part because if you could see all the bodies, so things were not coming in, things were not going out. And at that time, no, who make the argument that it's justifiable? But you can't tell me, say, who could school, who papa come into a jail school, and to because of that, no, in a, in enough justification, 10 years time, the Busa said, then I want to go to school. I said, oh, we will be trained to make a to us to be. That is not good justification. And so, sir, you are fine. You are the only one who is economy. You are in Koyi. Ufem. I am firm. I think, sir, I am going to be a good In fact, the first four years, you know, you are the only And I don't think the government has been able to roll out a number of significant policies and program within its first term in office and some were mega mega projects that we did but the borrow in a court so too much and uh, when this factor is over count am i a normal they are trying to say yes you should. and sometimes we need to be honest with the electric with the Ghanaian people we cannot be blaming and relying on factors consistently why other countries are taking pragmatic and the, the NSC, why we need to come out of and who should it? take the blame as a president who fought to announce dr mamu baumia who is the president president who fought omo omo yeah you mama no one have point to president who fought the baumia and i appoint anybody you know baby on okay he was nominated by the president sure when the glory comes one year the man the president, the back spots to the president. So when they, there's a difficulty with the man, the man. Mm, the president. And to your question, you have to be here. So, 
I think that the government needs to be honest with us and say, say listen, because of the number of policies and programs are yes, you share yeah, your first four years. I anticipate say COVID ever by me a close year about this. Russia and Ukraine wants to be about that hit you know to the extent say a bear uh hit a certain setback to us or certain challenges to us. I feel you your borrow because of certain borrowing via Mahama yeah yeah I to your own interest coupled with our own borrowing you know am I a debt to GDP ratio are very high to the extent say the internet even air are not certain obligations are as are preventing us from going to the international market to borrow further. So now no am I a bear cash trap then yeah into me call a jama a jama soon co fiscal then so I debt to the air interest airmini they pay interest on some of the borrowing and young as a government. They yeah, yeah to do certain programs. Uh, some of the uh, interests are you pay our borrowing and mama yeah, 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 compounded. So but we are taking certain steps to come out of the situation. But don't always be using Russia and Ukraine well, as you say, what they own your bonivia as you say what they own your mistake be uh, that is, that is not possible. No, me, mistake, you know, ah, mistake now. What can who are leading to? Why I'm leading to the government, okay? That there are certain mistakes uh, in the course of implementing certain policy and programs. You know, the committee is setting blunders along the line, mm -hmm. compounded to the some of the problems I had there. Yes, you know. So our problem is not only Russia and Ukraine or COVID-19. We are also part of the problem. Sometimes you need to do honest assessment of yourself, do short analysis of the various policy and programs. Let's let you know the law. We in Kenya you see Yanka you bring a different results. We in see Yanka you have different results. And don't shift all the blame to something else. And as you reach yourself and think that you haven't done anything wrong. Whatever mm. has happened, our economy drew where it is now. No? Even as a government, so we are also a contributing factor. Okay, FM. Mami Musadi, a dear penny, dear Bena. We are mistaken, I would do too much. And on chess, it doesn't, you only eat a humble pie as a leader or as a government. It doesn't take anything out of it. Matters, and Mami, we are dear Bakubia, and the Odia Babatua, the new crusading guide. I can't afford. Pensioners must not be worse off uh, by governments, DD, uh, debt, uh, domestic debt. The domestic debt exchange program. Exchange program. Uh -huh. uh, also, uh, as part of the conditions that uh, government is to me, as I said, the IMF funds, no? we need to engage with people who are homosexual the deal to see how best uh, we can restructure the debts, push some of the debts into future. Sebeya and Fanny said, Sebeya, you do, bra, kwame, 10,000. You can see how best, yeah, for now, we can't get money to settle you. Give you a bra, kwame, my, yeah, there, some time, be, be, do, uh, and I, then, get here. I think that, since most of the devs now, government, they want to push into the future, no? Yeah, then, yeah, future government, you never have any hair, too. So, you need to involve a lot of stakeholders, consultation, including the opposition parties, to see how best you can come out with a better model. There may be when you know a devil structure before. Because by 2026, 27, 28, move upward. Senator Kufaro will not be in power. Mm -hmm. You know, Frater will still not be a finance minister. Mm -hmm. But we are restructuring death into a future whereby a different government will be in place. What if that government also come and says, I'm also going to restructure the debt again? Mm -hmm. Problem, no one solve it, and I say you have created a problem for future debt. I better compound it. Exactly. So, why don't we engage, <coughs> I mean, relevant stakeholders for them to understand, say, this is where we are rich. The overnight is 3% debt to give the ratio. Yeah, as a buy. We are contributing factor. Yes, you are Bobo Sianibi. And this is for Mosuma Bobo Sianibi. Now, I could do baby Now, no, 
Yes, you hear stuff from the IMF. What is the best way we can do to make sure, say, a bit of a debt number form in order to qualify for the fund? And also, even if an unlikely event, the NDC come to power in 2025, the year they're now, yes, you say right now. If NDC come back to power, would they agree to the terms and conditions? Or even mm. if our own government foresee itself, the new flag bearer that will come, will he agree to the terms and conditions of the devil okay, starting back in the So we need to engage a lot of people, mm. and even the pensioners. Engage them. Engage the individual bondholders. Now, but, if but, the but, 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 is not handled properly, do you know a lot of banks will collapse? Mm. A lot of banks will collapse. Now, I feel okay. The banking sector, they did wah wah, and who said they did save it here because the Muhammad and Kors say the collapse of the banking sector. Ah, some of the banks' licenses have been revoked. Ah, you say they are using a lot of money to save the financial sector. What if this debt restructure is not hundred copy? Now banks are able to move to our to bank bonds and all that. The government is able to pay them and all that, and their money get locked. Those banks are they not going to collapse again? They are. We solve a problem and come and create another problem. Mm. And pensioners are part of the vulnerable in society. Okay. Obi or no man said it. If you are pensioner, no fee. Go on, go on. Hello? Oh. Produ sa friend be mummy and I'm media. Eh, Madame Razak, could you poku any any extreme commono? Nay, any idea about the pin baby and mano swatico. Now, young. Okay, FM. Okay. One zero one point seven seven.